Well, check it out. Channel 3 News was allowed exclusive access to the Perry nuclear power plant, a facility that First Energy is set to shut down or sell off in the next two years. Brandon Simmons tells us what closing the plant would mean locally and at the state level. On any given day, about 700 people work here at the Perry Nuclear Power Plant, but during this planned outage, there are about 2,000. Now, those are all jobs that wouldn't exist if a planned permanent shutdown comes to fruition. I, I grew up here. I actually got to watch the towers be built through my bedroom window. Bryce Tischer is a senior mechanic at Perry Nuclear Power Plant, a job he's had for the last 15 years. But for him and 700 others, this job may not be here come 2021. That's when First Energy plans to deactivate the plant, citing market conditions. There are people that work here that are raising their families, that uh, have children, and, 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 and I, I'm more worried about them. The deactivation was announced last March, and now employees and local leaders are calling on legislators at the state and federal level to help keep it from happening. What a lot of people don't understand is the impact it'll have on our whole Northeast Ohio and all of Ohio, really. North Perry Mayor Ed Close says the closing of the plant would have an impact on businesses in this community, safety services, and the biggest recipient of tax dollars, Perry Schools. When I was in school way back, uh, they shut Perry Schools down because we didn't have enough money to operate. Uh, what it's done for our school and for our community in our whole area is uh, something I want to hold on to. The plant also provides support through tax revenue to agencies across Lake County and the state. But aside from that, losing the plant would mean losing a major employer, with jobs ranging from mechanics to engineers, nuclear scientists, and even security. A huge part of it keeps this community alive and keeps people employed and um, just really flourishing. Why would we want to lose more jobs? So if, you, if Google or Amazon's here, we're going to give them the tax breaks. Just help us out. That's all I'm asking. Okay, so what can you do? I talked to the mayor of North Perry Village. He says contact your local legislators. He said two years is still plenty of time for them to try to come up with a new plan to help keep this place open and, of course, keep those jobs intact. In North Perry Village, I'm Brandon Simmons, Channel 3 News.